You can play Coconut Knockdown with your grade K to four students. And it's a fun, competitive team activity where students work on their accuracy using different sports skills. Now the aim of the game is to be the first team to knock down all the targets. Let's check out how to play. So for this activity, you're gonna need some markers and those markers are there to mark out the boundary or the throwing lines. You're also gonna need 10 targets to knock over. You can be creative. An example I'll be using is tall cones with large rubber balls balanced on top. You've gotta to try and knock over the balls. And then you also need 16 or more small balls. So tennis balls, small balls that you can throw. Maybe you got soft balls, soft foam balls. Anything like that is great to use to knock down the targets. So to set up the game, you gotta line out the targets. Five for one team and five for the other. Now obviously, you can set this up with three or four teams if you've got a large class. Now use the markers to mark out the throwing lines either side of the targets. Have them a good few meters away. And then you're gonna divide the class into two teams. So you've got one team either side of a set of targets. So there's team one, the red team, and you've got the other team at the other set of the targets standing behind those throwing lines. You're then gonna put all the tennis balls or the small balls around behind the throwing lines ready for the teams to throw. So to play the game, the teacher's gonna shout go, and everyone works as a team to throw the balls to knock down those targets. And as the game goes, players collect in and retrieve the balls and keep throwing from behind those throwing lines. And it's the first team to knock down all their targets wins. And you can of course play multiple rounds, round by round the winning team gets a point and so on. You can adapt this game for the younger students by making the throwing line closer to the targets and of course make it more challenging or for older students by moving that throwing line further away, making it harder. There are a couple of variations you can use in order to make this game more challenging and exciting. You can progress the rounds by choosing a defender. So you can have a defender for each team who have to try and guard the incoming balls from the opponents. So one for each team guards the other team's targets. And just remember when you're playing this variation, making sure that you're using soft spongy balls because if the defenders get hit, we don't want them getting injured of course. Remember you can change the sport that you play. So instead of throwing, put out volleyballs and students work on their underarm serving or even overarm serving, trying to knock down the targets. Maybe you wanna use soccer balls and students have to try and chip the ball to hit the targets. Or maybe everyone has a tennis racket each and using those tennis balls, they've gotta bounce and strike to knock the balls off the cones. And you can be creative with the targets that you have. So if you've got tall sports poles, use those. You can use a Frisbees and students have to try and knock down those poles using the Frisbees. So Whatever sports equipment you have, be creative, make it fun, make it challenging, change the type of skill that is used, and you can really use this for any type of sport you want to practice. I'm sure you and your kids will love this activity today. If you're looking for more ideas, remember, check out my resources in the links below. I've got packs, resources, lesson plans, skill specific ideas, everything you need as an elementary teacher to teach game changing sport at your school.